the question is, uh, given a list of customers uh, that want to see two movies each, uh, but can't watch the same movie, or can only watch one movie a day, either Saturday or Sunday, create a schedule for all the customers, or for all the movies so that each customer is satisfied. Um, so, for example, uh, if we had like, uh, customer Alley, and she wants to see Spider-Man, and Thor, and then we had customer, uh, let's just say Greg, who wants to see Spider-Man, and the Avengers. Uh, so what we do is the schedule would output, for example, Saturday would be Thor and the Avengers that are being played, and Sunday would be Spider-Man. So that both Greg and Allie are uh, satisfied with what they, um, with their movies. So before I do the um, algorithm, I just wanted to note that I created a, a known class which contains, because I will be creating a graph to create the schedule, which contains a, movie, a string movie title, um, a string day, which day it's going to be viewed on, and uh, an array list of its, in the JCT list, it's an array list of their neighbors, and then a Boolean to show that uh, it's been visited or if it's been visited or not. And then the, um, the customer just has a name, and a string which is a name, and then uh, a string array containing two movies. Uh, so I just created those two classes, um, which I'll be using in my method. So I'll start with the signature. Um, so returning. Uh, the way I thought about doing it was just uh, create a schedule using a hash map. So, uh, public hash map. Um, so, the key will be either Saturday or Sunday. And the value is the array, which is just like the schedule of movies on that day. Um, and I'll call it schedule movie or schedule movies. And then we'll pass in an array of customers. Uh, and I'll just call the array M. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to um, uh, initialize my variables. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to create two hash maps. Um, so this one, it's going to have uh, a string as the key and a node as the value, and this is going to be our graph. Uh, the second hash map is going to be what we return into our schedule. Um, so the key is a string, and the value is an array list of string, strings. Um, Okay. The uh, next thing I want to create is um, two queues. So we have a uh, queue, and this is going to be uh, movies, and then queue day, which is going to keep track of the current day that we're uh, looking at later on when we're doing a breadth first search through the graph on um, treat schedule. So now that I've initialized my variables, the first thing I want to do is loop through all of the customers and um, construct the graph. So I'm going to start with a for loop, a for each loop. So uh, customer C for M for each, uh, for each customer in 
the MRA. So um, what I want to do is I'm going to check if the graph contains the node. If it doesn't, I'll create the node, add to the graph, and then uh, add the or add each node to the respective adjacent C list of the other node that was created. So if um, graph, if the graph doesn't contain uh, the first movie title, if each customer has one movie title, um, we're just going to create a new node. And uh, initialize it with um, the first movie title. Um, and then put that node in the graph. Uh, so it's so the key is this the uh, the name of the movie and the value is just and now we're going to do the same thing for the second movie. Uh, I call this node two. So now if um, either node, so now if neither node or if any node hasn't been added to the graph, it's just been added now. So the next thing I want to do is um, add uh, each respective node to the other node's adjacency list. So I'm going to create two nodes down here. Uh, I'm going to call them to and from, but it doesn't. There's, it's not directed, so it doesn't really matter. It just made it easier for me. Um, so we're going to get the node that uh, corresponds to the movie title keys. So now we have two nodes that we want to add to the other JCC lists. Um, but since it's an array list, I want to check if the array list doesn't already contain that movie. Um, because array lists can't duplicate strings. So I'm going to check if um, if two dot neighbors uh, contains from uh, does not contain neighbors. So then we just do two dot add or two dot neighbors add uh, from and then I'm going to do the same thing for the other node. So if uh, from dot neighbors uh, contains or doesn't contain two. We just do uh, from dot neighbors dot add two. Um, so now, uh, the last thing I want to do is I want to add updated nodes back into the graph. So I'm going to do uh, graph.put. Uh, so the first node, or the first movie, a movie at zero, or movies at uh, index zero, and then two, and then graph.put, uh, second movie. Movies at index 
you get index 1 and from. Okay. So now I've added, I've updated the uh, nodes that we added adjacencies to. And after all this is said and done, we should have the uh, graph constructed. So now I want to traverse the graph. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to create an entry set to loop through the hash map of the graph we just created. So uh, for map.entry and then key is string value is a node. Um, I'll call the iterator entry. Um, so the next uh, function is graph dot entry. Okay, so now we're going to loop through each unique node inside the graph. Um, and we're going to try to assign a day to each of the nodes and see if we can create a schedule. And if we can't, we just return null, which I should have said earlier. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the first um, the first node to the movies queue. Uh, so entry dot value, and then I'm going to start assigning uh, nodes on um, Saturday. So the first thing. First day we're going to assign Saturday and add that to the day queue. So add, we're going to call it sat. Um, uh, okay, so now I'm going to go with the while loop. Um, so while movies. Uh, is isn't empty. So this is allows us to look the node, uh, a current node and then all of its neighbors that we want to look through and we're going to assign days based upon that using a breadth first search. Um, it's kind of like the uh, an adaptation of a two colorable uh, rhythm. Um, so node uh, current, I'm going to pop off the top of the queue. Um, so movies dot move. Um, pop off the top day on the queue. So a string current day is day dot remove. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to check if the node's been visited. Um, so if uh, Heard of visited equals false. Um, we should, should be at this point because uh, it will be initialized. When we create a new node, it's initialized to false. Um, okay, so if it's uh, if it is false, we're going to set visited equal to true. If we haven't seen this node yet, now we have. We're going to set the current day of the movie equal to uh, what we popped up from the day queue. So this movie would, if this is the first movie, it'd be assigned Saturday. Um, and then I'm going to want to update the uh, the day for the, for the next node that's assigned. So if uh, the current day is equal it's equal to Saturday. Uh, we're just going to change current day or cur day, sorry, cur day, equal to sun. And otherwise, we'll just set it uh, cur day equal to uh, Saturday. Okay. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to loop through all of um, the current node's neighbors. So what I'm going to do is I'll do um, 
actually, I'm going to make more room here. I'm going to erase the graph code. We already have start with the graph. Oh, I erased my variable on accident. Uh, Schedule. And actually, beforehand, I meant to initialize. So, schedule. Uh, we're going to put uh, a key set and then a new array list as the value. Um, and then also going to put a key. Sun and a new array, new array list as a value to create the schedules. Um, and then our two queues. Uh, okay. Uh, so back to what I was saying. So I'm going to loop through all of the neighbors in the current node. So for each node n and uh, current out neighbors. Um, so what I want to do is I want to, first thing I want to do in this for loop is uh, check if uh, the, the the neighbor day is equal to the current node's day. And if it is, we just return null. Because um, that means uh, one person's two movies can be played on uh, different days and have to play on the same day, and we can't create uh, a schedule. Okay. So now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, add Uh, the current neighbor to the movie's queue so it can be examined later. I'm going to add uh, the day we switch to uh, right uh, right here so that um, when this movie gets popped off, the day that it should be assigned to also gets popped off. Um, so we added her day to the queue. And then I want to um, I want to update the current node. So graph dot put uh, current dot title and then current or curve. So uh, we add this node or no, we we add the node we're currently examining back into the graph, update it so that it has, it's been, uh, it's visited value has been turned to true, and the, uh, it's been assigned a day. So this just updates the current graph. And then the last thing I want to do in this for loop, um, so if the current day, we're going to create the schedule, or we're going to add the current move to the schedule, so if, um, If current dot day is equal to Saturday, um, and because array list can't have duplicate string values, I'm going to check if schedule uh, dot get um, set dot contains uh, the current title. So what this is doing. Is checking if the Saturday schedules, um, so this we get the value associated with the Saturday schedule or the Saturday key, which is like the Saturday array list. Uh, we check if it has the current title. If it doesn't, we're just going to add the uh, 
the um, movie title, Say the Saturday Saturday. Uh, Saturday Saturday. And we're just going to do the uh, same thing for uh, Sunday. Uh, so we're going to check if that movie, or the current, if the current day is Sunday, we're going to check if that movie's already been uh, Add it to the Sunday schedule. And if it's not, um, we're just going to add it. Lastly, we're just going to return uh, the schedule. Okay. Um, so this is the algorithm. Uh, so going over like a simple good example. Um, let's do the uh, example I said before. We're out to see Spider-Man. And Thor, and Greg wants to see uh, Spider Man, and uh, the Avengers. So our graph should end up looking like uh, this so Avengers, Thor, Spider Man. Um, which should be a valid uh, graph. So let's run through the algorithm. Or um, so what happened is, I mean, I could just I erase it, but going from memory. Um, so we're going to start. We'll uh, look at the customer alley. Uh, loop through movies one and two. So we'll see that Spider Man. As uh, Spider-Man 4 both have been added to the graph, so uh, we, add, uh, we add them to the graph, and then we create an adjacency for both of them, uh, and then, or we grab their nodes, add adjacencies to both of them, and then update the graph. Then we uh, go to Greg. You see that Spider-Man's already been added to the um, Graph. So we skip over that, but we add the Avengers to the graph. And we make an adjacency between Spider-Man and the Avengers. And uh, then we'll have our graph, which should look like this. So now, um, we have our hash map. Uh, so we're going to loop through that. So we're going to add um, the first movie, which should be uh, Spider-Man. And then we add Saturday. So while movies isn't empty, um, which it's not. Uh, so we pop off Spider-Man, which is the current node. We pop off the current day, which is Saturday. We check if uh, the Spider-Man node's been visited. It's not. So we uh, we set visited equal to true, um, and we set. Spider-Man's current day to current day, which was Saturday. So Spider-Man has now been visited and has a day of Saturday. Uh, and then we set per day, the uh, variable, equal to Sunday. So the next movie gets a, um, gets a uh, value of Sunday. 
Okay, now looping through the neighbors. So Spider-Man has two neighbors, uh, the Avengers and Thor. So, if, so looking at the Avengers, if N dot day equals current day, which it doesn't, uh, we skip over. So we're going to add the Avengers to the movies. Q, we're going to add Sunday to the um, day Q. And then we're going to update Spider-Man in the graph, adding him to uh, to the, uh, or adding his visited and day to the graph. Um, and then we're going to add, we're going to check if the current, if Spider-Man's current day is equal to Saturday, which it is. Uh, we check if he's been added to the Saturday schedule, he hasn't. So we just add Spider-Man to the uh, Saturday schedule. Uh, we're going to move through again because Spider-Man's also got Thor as an adjacency. Um, check if Thor stays equal to Spider-Man's day. It's not. We skip over. Uh, we add Thor to the movie's queue. We add Sunday to the current day queue. Um, and then this is kind of redundant, but we just re-add Spider-Man back to the, to the um, graph. And then we just skip over this because we've already added Spider-Man to the Saturday schedule. Um, so now coming back over here to the while loop, so we're going to pop off the Avengers now. Uh, so current node is Avengers, the current day is Sunday. We're going to set current day equal to Saturday again. Um, okay, and then we're going to loop through, pop over to the Avengers. Um, so the Avengers only has Spider-Man as a neighbor, so we check if Spider-Man's day is equal to the Avengers day, which is not. So we skip over this. Uh, we add Spider-Man to the queue. Um, add uh, a Saturday to the queue, because we change that to Saturday. We're going to update the Avengers in the graph so that it's now been visited and it has a day of Sunday. And then we're going to add uh, the Avengers to the Sunday schedule uh, down here. Adding the Avengers down here. Um, so now we're done with the Avengers neighbors. We're going to hop back over to this while loop. And now we're going to examine Thor. So Thor is the current node. The current day is Sunday again. Um, so we pop off Sunday. Uh, we check if the current node has been visited. It hasn't. Uh, so we set Thor equal to true, we set his day equal to Sunday. Um, and then we set her day uh, to Sunday, add that, uh, which will be added to Q later, although it doesn't matter since we'll be done. So now we're going to look at Thor's neighbors. Um, so we check if, so Thor's only neighbor is Spider-Man. So we check if, um, Spider-Man's day is equal to Thor's day, which is not, since we assigned Thor Sunday. Um, so then we add Spider-Man to the queue. We add a Saturday to the queue. We update Thor's um, day and uh, day and uh, visited status in the graph, and then we add him to the Sunday queue. Uh, so now all nodes have been visited, so what's going to happen is we're just going to like, so it'll never make it past this if stayed in the while loop. So run, it'll run through what's ever left in the queue in the while loop, put out, and then return schedule, and then it should print. So we have a valid schedule of Saturday with Spider-Man, and then Sunday is uh, Thor and the event. Allowing for a um, valid schedule. So now, in a bad example, um, uh, so let, let's say we had Steve. Um, so we have, and Steve wants to see Thor at the Avengers. So now when we go through the graph construction, we have a graph that looks like this. So Thor, Spider-Man, 
Avengers, which would which would return null. So we run through the, we construct this graph, and then start with the first entry. Let's start with Thor. Uh, we add the we add Thor. Thor would be our current node in the queue. Current day is Saturday, so Thor would be set to true. We'd set his day to uh, move to Saturday. Um, switch over to Sunday for per day. Hop in the for loop for checking neighbor nodes. Um, see that uh, Spider Man. Uh, Spider-Man's day doesn't equal Thor's day, so we skip over this. We add Spider-Man to the queue. We add a Sunday uh, string to the queue. We update Thor in the graph, and then add Thor to the Saturday schedule. Um, so now we're going to hop back in here for, because uh, Thor also has the Avengers. So we check if the Avengers day is equal to Thor's day, it's not. We add Avengers to the movies queue, we add another Sunday to the day queue, uh, we have this redundant check for updating this graph, because um, we already updated it, and then we already added Thor to the Saturday schedule, so we skip over this. So now we're going to examine Spider-Man. So uh, the current note is Spider-Man, the current day is Sunday, uh, Spider-Man hasn't been visited, so we set current visit. Uh, Spider-Man visited the true, uh, set his day to Sunday, flip current day to Saturday, um, check uh, Spider-Man's neighbors. So Spider-Man has Thor as a neighbor. They don't have equal days, so this skips. We add Thor to the queue. We add a Saturday to the queue. We add an updated Spider-Man to the graph. Uh, and then we add Spider-Man to the Sunday schedule. Then we're going to loop through again. Uh, check the Avengers. So the Avengers don't have the same day as Spider-Man. We add Avengers to the queue. We add uh, Saturday to the queue. We do the redundant check to add Spider-Man to the graph. And we already added Spider-Man to the Sunday queue. So we skip over. So now back over here, we're going to examine the last node of the Avengers. So the current node is the Avengers. The current day is Sunday. Visit is false for the Avengers, so we said visit the true. We set the Avengers day to Sunday, which is going to be our issue. Um, and then we flip this current day to Sunday. So now over here we're going to examine uh, the Avengers neighbors, so the first neighbor is Thor. Thor is on the same day as the Avengers, so we skip. Uh, we had Thor to the queue, we had Sunday to the queue, we had the updated Avengers to the graph, um, and then add the Avengers to the Sunday queue. But now when we check uh, Spider Man, uh, the Avengers neighbor Spider Man. We check, is Spider-Man's day equal to the Avengers day it is, and we just return null. So this is, uh, we can't make a schedule and we return null. So as for space complex, or time and space complexity, we have uh, O of n plus n for time. Since we constructed a graph, um, we had m customers, so we looped through m customers, and then we looped through uh, n movies, so we have n plus n, uh, root through n customers plus n movies, so n plus n, and then we constructed a graph that had uh, n vertices and m vertexes or ver uh, edges, creating the graph, so space is also n plus n. Um, and 